This is Dabu7, and it looks like there is a serious escalation around Qatar in what is happening with this region, as initial reports were stating that all of these different countries were pulling out of working with them, uh, backing them, allowing them to come into their ports. Multiple countries, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, being among some of those countries that were pulling out of deals and putting up threats, stating that this country was supporting terrorism. And that is laughable because we know what Saudi Arabia supports and others that are involved in this. But now it's looking like this is a haven for natural gas. This is what people need to see. They're stating that right now this is the most significant escalation in terms of this Qatar diplomatic crisis. They're saying this pits two of OPEC's largest oil producers, which is Saudi Arabia and the UAE, against the world's biggest exporter of liquefied natural gas in the region. So, this is what is really happening here. As we see Saudi Arabia continue to battle it out with its own neighbors, with Yemen and now Qatar here, there is what they're calling a naval blockade as they are rejecting any ship that is flying their flag. They're not allowing it uh, to come into the region. Now, Saudi Arabia's eastern coast is home to the port of Ras Tanura, which state-owned Saudi Arabia oil company says is the biggest crude terminal in the world. They're all rejecting anything from Qatar right now, so this is heating up in terms of this and I want you to see that they are sitting on a massive amount of natural gas here. And I can guarantee you that is at what is at the bottom of this, a big part of it. Nonetheless, this is what's going on in the region. I'll leave a link and I'll continue to update as I come across more. This has been Dabu7. Peace.